rest, which is nice after lunch. Uh, we're going to do another another board example to talk about the examples of things that you might run into in the game that that would fall into each of those rest categories. Um, and then we'll have a little true false, and then wrap it up with any questions. So I will ask if you've got really awesome, fun stories, save those to the very, very end because we have a lot to get through. And um, we'll talk about it. And if you run, if you hit question or if you ask me questions that I don't have a quick answer for, I'll just write it on the board and we'll get back to you later. Cool. Cool. All right. This is number. This is in section six point one in the official accelerant rules. If you want to go look this up later. Uh, 6.1 talks about the purpose of rest and focus, and then 6.1.1 actually talks about rest. So I'm going to read both of those. We'll just run through it, and then we'll come back and talk about each point a little bit more. Okay. All right. Um, as the game progresses during an event, players generally spend time interacting with other characters, moving from place to place, and engaging in combat and other game activities. Some skills or game effects require a specific passage of time as a requirement of their use or removal. I don't have an immediate example really fast, but something like, I can heal this guy, but then I have to rest before I can heal this guy. What is that rest? Do I have to take a nap? Do I go to sleep? Is it tomorrow? What is that rest? That's what we're talking about here. Okay. Um, players are expected to count out this time, so you can't just lie down, okay, it's been five minutes, and get up. We actually want you to spend five minutes or a minute or whatever it is. Um, and the counted time is, is spent either to rest or to focus, which is the second part of this. Time spent to rest or focus is, un is interrupted if you use a game skill. So if you decide that you're going to get up and cast a spell, you have to start your rest or focus all over again. Okay. Um, that includes making an attack or blocking an attack with a weapon or shield. So if someone comes and, and attacks you while you are resting or focusing and you block that, you have to start over. All right. Spending time to rest or focus must be obvious to others who look at you. Yes. And it's start over from zero, not a pause, right? Exactly. Yeah, start over from the beginning. Um, so everyone, anyone observing you, has it's very obvious that you are resting. Um, you can't spend time resting or focusing if you're standing in a combat stance or otherwise appear to be participating in combat. So you can't just very sneakily hide over here and I'm actually resting. And do that. <laughs> Have to obviously be resting. Um, let's see, when spending time as a requirement of game, using game skills, interruptions require you to begin the process at the start, but these interruptions don't generally exhaust the costs of using the skill or ability unless that ability explicitly says otherwise in its description. And that's a lot of words. I'm not going to try to unpack that because I honestly don't have a super quick example of what that means, but we can come back to it later if we need to. Uh, all right, there is an example that goes with this. If you begin focus for one minute, which we haven't talked about focus yet. Um, to use a skill which can only be used once per event or which uses an attribute point. The skill or attribute is not generally used up if you're interrupted while trying to use that skill. It's not any more clear. <laughs> All right. <laughs> Many games have skills or attributes that can be refreshed when you have a chance to rest. And some games, again, when it says many games and some games, these are accelerant rules, not Britannus specific, right? So other games, when they say that, might not just be Britannus. Um, also defined skills are resets that require you to be within a safe zone, workshop, haven, or sanctuary. All right, rest specifically. Resting involves spending time out of action where you have a chance to regain your energy and composure. Rest requires you to be sitting, lying down, or kneeling. There is an alternative rest. If it's a mud fest or you have physical limitations that require you, like, that's really hard for me to sit, stand, or kneel in the middle of the field. You may stand with your hands above your head, like this. Okay? You're not holding weapons, you're just like this. And this type of rest needs to be um, cleared ahead of time, has to be approved by someone on staff ahead of time. Obviously, if it's a mud fest, we're just going to be like, yeah, that's fine, rest. So otherwise, <laughs> three points of contact to be resting. Knee, knee, foot, foot. Oh, like, yeah, that's good. Yeah. What's a mud fest? Oh, a mud fest. <laughs> Literally a mud fest. We've had games where it has rained all weekend long, and it's oh, like swampy, mud. swampy okay. mud fest. Yeah. Okay, got it. Yeah. Thank you. Good question. It was both awesome and terrible at the same time. Right. It's one of those like we lived through it and we are haunted, <laughs> but that was awful. <laughs> Never want to do it again. It's like childhood. Oh, right? <laughs> yeah. All right. Uh, let's see. Um, you cannot walk or run, because obviously if you're sitting, standing, or sitting, lying, or kneeling, you're not walking or running. Um, you can interact with those nearby while you're resting. 
you are automatically resting if you're dead, if you're paralyzed, if you're stunned, or if you're unconscious. So we can start rest count if we're... If you're paralyzed, you're resting automatically. Okay. Yep. Don't yep. Don't much of a choice, but... Yeah. It is. Yeah. Yes. The, yes. You will not be paralyzed for a whole event. Yes. So often, <laughs> often you're actually paralyzed until you take a rest. And so right. once you're paralyzed, you're actually starting that. You're actually starting your rest. Yeah. yeah exactly. Yeah. So, okay. uh, stun is similar to paralyzed, except you're unconscious. Okay. All right. Resting is interrupted by engaging in combat in any way. Blocking or making any kind of attack or using attack skills interrupts the rest and lets you start it over. Uh, if you're using other non-combat skills, if not otherwise engaged in combat, that does not interrupt rest. So if you're, I don't know if that really, I don't have a good example of that, but as long as it's not combat, you can do some things. Um, however, casting spells for any reason interrupts rest. So you can't be resting and healing yourself if, at yeah, the same time? Really good. Well, according to yeah. that, perhaps the doctor, the non-magic healing might work. But I would that's say that's thinking. actively using the skills. So, yeah, um, yeah. I, well, I'll need to get clarification. Okay. Question here. But you were talking about like you can't be actively blocking or dodging or anything like that. What if you decide to take the hit? Does that still reset the clock? No. If you get hit, it resets oh, yes. the clock. Yes. Oh, yes. I'm sorry. Yes. Yeah. 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 Okay. So, so you, if you can't just stay in the middle of combat and rest. Okay. That's like the monster's yeah. paralyzed. Right, every now and then just walk by and whack them and they have to start the rest all over again. <laughs> or every four minutes, either. Yeah, that would be, that and they'd be like, ah! D-Bad's violation right there. But it's a good way to kill a monster. But if it's a monster, that's totally okay. Yeah. Just yeah. death, right? Z-Bad doesn't count when the monster's involved. All right. Involved. Monsters don't have rights. <laughs> okay, now here's this is important. Effects that require rest can overlap. They can stack. So a single rest interval can be used for multiple effects. Here's an example. Let's say a game skill allows you to reset a magical defense after a minute of rest, and you're affected by a root effect, which is a five minute, um, and you're affected by a weakness effect, which is also another five minutes. Um, you can take a long rest and apply the time to all three at once. So you don't have to do five and five and one and rest for 11 minutes to get rid of all of them. You can just do it all with them. Okay. All right, there are four kinds of rest in Britannus. Short rest, standard, long rest, and specific rest. Short rest is 10 seconds, standard is one minute, long is five minutes. And specific rest comes into play when whatever you've been hit with has a rest specified in its own description. Okay. Last little bit about rest, if you're in the process of resting um, and a, char a game character like an NPC or a staff member comes up to you and says you are well rested, consider that you have had your full long rest and you can get up and continue. Okay. You don't get to decide on your own. <laughs> All right, so let's see what you remember. What are yellow? the four types of rest? Short, long, specific, Short. standard. Oh, I'll, I'll, I'll stand these up in a minute. Short. Put them in order for me. Standard. 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 Loss. Long. Long. Specific. Specific. All right. Uh, yes, we're good so far. Mm -hmm. All right. All right. Give me times. Time narrations. What do we have? Uh, ten seconds. Ten seconds. Which one's ten seconds? Short. 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 Short rest is ten seconds. Good job. Standard is one. Okay. One. What? One second. One minute. One minute. Uh huh. Units. Units matter. One minute. <laughs> Long rest is five minutes. Five minutes, good job. Specific rest is determined by the thing that Specific is non specific. <laughs> other, the other rest. Other rest. All right, does this help? Ten seconds, one minute, five minutes. Or if if TV. nothing's said, when you get hit with something, if nothing's said, do we assume a standard rest? We're going to talk about that. Okay. It's a really good question. Um, in, the, in the rules, if you read the full rules, and it goes through things like stun, it, it specifies, and we're going to play a game where we do that, um, when it's not specified, like in a skill. Like you can heal somebody else after you take a rest, mm -hmm. and that it's not further explained, that's when you're in standard. Okay. All right. It is time to experience a rest. For those of you that have played before, how do you typically know when you've hit a minute? Ten seconds is pretty easy. You can just kind of count to ten. But any tips? Since this is all immersive, count. You count. <laughs> okay. Since this is all immersive, you just can't pull out your cell phone and put on the clock. Correct. Right? 
Right. Um, I, as oh. Quinn, I had a healing herbs, which made, made, I had to have a packet which mm -hmm. had a timer in it, a, um, a clock or a sand timer. A little sand timer? Yeah, yeah that's a really a good sand. idea. Mm. And, but so I had a yeah. one minute one, and then I looked on eBay and saw, or uh, Amazon saw you can get a five minute one. That's I didn't buy one of those, but. Yeah. So that if, if you don't have a timer. For the, uh, for the house of healing. Yeah, like a nice wooden one would be cool. Yeah. If you don't have a timer, how would you know when you have five minutes? You have to count it. You have to count it. Yeah. yeah. There's stuff going on, you or people trying to talk to you. You can that's a minute long and sing it four times. So we like do minute to minute. Although in play, every time I, I've had to do five minute rest, it was collapse on the ground, wait till I can stop sweating and can breathe again. Right. <laughs> that's what that's that usually works for me. And that's like, <laughs> it's longer than. Yeah. So. Or, or if okay. you're playing with really experienced players, you rest while they're resting. Right. And wait till they get up. <laughs> but that's not accurate necessarily. Yeah. You can turn the sand timer over. Yeah. If you get the that's what I was You doing. could. You yep. could, yeah. Five All right. Minutes. So I'm going to trust that you can count to 10 and handle the 10 seconds, and I can trust that you can do the minute. But let's experience a five-minute rest. So assume a rest position. You're already in a, in a seated position, but if you'd like to take the floor, you're welcome to. Or if you think that you're more likely to do this type of rest, stand up. So I want you to feel what this feels like for five minutes. So everybody good with where you are and what to move? Yeah. That's probably where you're going to be. You're it's probably going to be on the ground. That's true. That's true. <laughs> Feel it. Probably want to be sitting. And I'm going to let each of you on your own decide how you want to count out your five minutes. But I want everyone to close your eyes. And when you think you've hit five minutes, just quietly raise your hand. And let's try to get an idea of like how close we are. And I will let you know when the stop watch hits five minutes. Yeah, question. Um, can you let us know after everybody's raised their hands so it's like to see how collectively after we are? So yeah, yeah. Sure. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's a good idea. So, so another idea is you mentioned the song. So think about a song that you might immediately go to. It's Crazy Battle. Like not let me think of the song that I have to remember Stand the lyrics to, but like Twinkle Twinkle Little Star. <laughs> if you can do that, even if you're delirious with heat and exhaustion, etc. If you can do that, just play that song over and over in your head and kind of keep. Do you get through it 15 times before you think five minutes is hit? So that way you have something you can take away back to the battlefield and go, okay, do we go through the little star 17 times? This is my five minutes. Josh okay. Johnson's heart hit the button yet. I'm sorry. <laughs> no, have it, have I started to think, think of a song that I can, that I can mouth match up that. It's just going to be in your own head, so just it can be more. cool, authentic, or not. Yeah, I started singing <laughs> yeah. side by side. Okay, you ready? Ready, close your eyes and go. Yeah.
is coming in. Just keep your eyes closed. I'm going to stop you. We've actually hit six minutes. <laughs> two of you still had to raise your hands. Yeah. Um, we had, I was two seconds away. Oh, really? Yeah. Okay. Uh, all right. So we had as early as the time people raise their hands. Two minutes and 30 seconds. Two minutes, 35. 340. 350. And 528. So I guess I better double, 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 <laughs> double it up. Double it up. Yeah. Yeah. So it's pretty interesting, right? I mean, it's, sometimes it's way shorter than you think, and sometimes it's way longer. All right. So that you have an idea of the types of rests that you should apply when you get hit by certain things. Actually, I'm going to get your hair, Joanna. I'm going to use you as an easel. This is Poor that have played the game a while are familiar with these, others are not, and that's okay. 
I want to give you a visual of how many things appear in each of these categories natively. By that I mean it is possible for someone to call a modifier on one of these, and I'll explain what that means in just a minute, um, that changes the duration, all right? Let's start with this one. Agony. How long do you have to rest, or how long does agony last? Ten seconds. Ten seconds, Ten seconds. yeah, short. And it's not a quiet rest, it's a screaming loud, loud, you're really dying, you're in agony, agony rest. You're supposed to yell and scream that? Yes. Yeah. Yeah. You're in agony. Around. Oh, yes. That's going to seem like a lot longer. You're also not completely defenseless, but you It hurts. Like focus. It hurts. Okay. Some, one of our longtime players would no. be willing to give a demonstration of agony. What's that? I'm going to give a demonstration of agony. If I hit you with agony. No, but I'm going to miss healing my agony. <laughs> <laughs> Andy. Agony by shadow. Ah! Way louder. You can okay. absolutely be way louder. Quietly yelling. You can absolutely yell, yeah, as much as you like. All right, how about this one? Repel. How long does a repel last? And you'll be down the classes to tell you what these mean, but. Five minutes. Yeah, five minutes. That's what I thought. Oh, yeah. Nope. Gracious. And, it's, <laughs> and repel is five minutes of rest, not five minutes. Right. It's not five minutes away. Yeah. Five minutes of rest. Because mm. if you go fight someone else, you still haven't rested. Yep. Yep. All right. This this is its own topic. You'll get to tomorrow. But death. What's most most often involved with death? Five minutes. So if you're already dead. dead. Yeah. One minute no, bleed, no, out bleed out and out five yeah. minute countdown. Yeah. Drain. Five. I would think five minutes. It's five. Now, when I mentioned a modifier earlier, you might get hit with a short drain. Short drain. In which case, it's how long? Ten, Ten seconds. seconds. Ten seconds. Short death. No. Stun. <laughs> <laughs> five, five minutes. Stun is five minutes. Five minutes? Yeah, it is five minutes. That, one, one time. I, that, that led to death, by the way. <laughs> yeah, it usually does. This one is the restoration that's required by many skills. Uh, standard. Long, long. Standard. Oh, standard. Just standard. Oh. 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 Kind of I've been doing it wrong. Some will, speci Some will specify, specify yeah. but it's, It'll this is very it. default. Weakness. Five. I yeah, five works. minutes. How about silence? Five. Five minutes. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. How Could about maim? The event. Maim is good. The entire event. So Sarah, if I hit you, if I maim and if I hit you with a maim and hit your arm, your arm is useless for the entire event. I'm just fixed. Unless it's fixed. It's so fixed. It's so fixed. You, you need to hit the hit the hit the town and be like, who yeah, start talking this? to people. <laughs> who can fix this? Because I need my arm. All right. Paralyze. Five minutes. Five minutes. Which one? Like a theme. Paralyze. Paralyze. Yep. It's That's surprising how bodies. many fall into yeah. this, doesn't it? Fruit. Five. Is it five minutes? Right? For a regular one. root. Regular yeah. root. Uh, Slow. Five. Five minutes. More five minutes. So a lot of times, in chapter one at least, we've been with five. short ones. Yeah. 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 Yes. Frenzy. One minute? I think frenzy was one Five minutes? Ten seconds. I don't know. It wasn't one minute. There's, 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 Until no. you're dead or unconscious. Oh, really? Oh. Yeah, nice. yeah. So if your friend gets frenzied, they're going to be in. You just need to find a way to knock them out because that's yeah. we'll kill them. <laughs> Those are in fact the most acceptable options. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> surprising, right? Kind of surprising, but, but that gives you a look. Now you will hear on the battlefield a lot of short root, short stun, short mm -hmm. short weakness, short slow, short blah blah blah, which makes them ten seconds, which helps the battle go a, lot, a little right. bit faster. So. Do they have long versions of it as well, like uh, long weakness to make it longer? Mm, like no, there's no weakness. It's, it's, already, it's already long. Well, make it an entire weekend or something like that. Mm. Uh, you no, know, so if you say long, it's going to be five minutes. Yeah, yeah. Even if you say long root, it'll be five yeah. minutes. Every so once like in a while. The root. Or like not yeah. long agony, agony or something. Well, like long that. agony would be root. Every once in yeah. a while, you may hear a call of permanent before a permanent. Yeah. yeah. And that lasts, lasts until yeah. someone we kills you. We don't make you. it longer than this unless we make it permanent. Or does it very rest. Yeah. <laughs> with, okay. with MAME, the duration of the entire event, is that the entire weekend or just the day? Good question. The, 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 whole, weekend. Of, the whole weekend. The whole weekend. The weekend. Yeah. 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 Find it but to be fair, <laughs> it's very rare. I would, if not, almost ne it would never happen that we would MAME, we would allow MAME and not have a way to help fix through that. But you might, you might have to go find that. You might have to go find the mushroom in the forest that gives you the, you know, fix. So. Yeah. Hey, guys. Hey. All right. 
this is a group activity. We have true false. True false. <laughs> true and false. I'm going to pass these cards around to each of you, and you're going to come up and put your card on where you think it is. And if you, what, what side do you think it belongs on? And if you see something on some uh, some other board that you disagree with, feel free to move it. Mm -hmm. okay, so what do you know? Do you guys want to okay, so okay. so you know. stand on your head. Okay. Yeah. No. Yeah. 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 Yeah.
that any calling of any defense, optional or otherwise, interrupts your focus. And there's a very specific example we're going to get to. And there are four kinds. There, the four kinds are exactly the same as rest. You have a short focus, which is 10 seconds, a standard focus, which is a minute, long focus is five minutes, and a specific focus that is going to have a duration detailed in the description. OK, so that's the official rule. Um, so for example, there is a champion skill called um, involuntary defense. Basically, when it's locked and ready, you, you must call shield attack by armor against the next tier number of called attacks that hit you. Having it prepped does not interrupt a focus. What it means is if you're focused on something and someone hits you, you have no choice. You have to call it. It interrupts your focus. Um, things like resist, reflect, avoid, those are game skills. So using those will break your focus. Um, getting hit breaks your focus. Um, dying and bleeding out breaks your focus. <laughs> what? <laughs> can that be focus yeah. when I'm dying? Just talking? Like, can, uh, you, just, you have to be so focused on... No, you can talk. In fact, sure? there are a couple of specific skills that require it. Oh, sure. Because um, yeah, spellcasting, yeah. the incantations for spellcasting are considered a focus. So okay. you, are, you are allowed to do that. Yes? If you're focusing and someone does something not native, but like, like I'm injured and they come and heal me while I'm focused, does that break focus also? You're not using a game skill. Well, I mean, if I, I'm just saying the equivalent of getting hit by a monster, no. getting healed, okay. Because getting hit, you're actually interacting with the game and you are actually, um, you are using a skill because if you get hit, you actually have to react to it and do something. Um, it works the same way to a certain degree that it did in chapter one, where it. Come here. All right. So you're hurt and dying and all the things. It, oh, no! Oh, now you're on the floor and we can't see you, but that's okay. I'm not dying. Standing up. Um, stand up, please. I need you standing up. I don't okay. need you to death, but stand up. So she's hurt. If you're trying to fix her, she can still fight to protect me so I don't lose my focus because okay. I'm fixing her. Okay. So just like in chapter one, I'm stuck. She can try to protect me because if I get hit, we got to start over. Okay. Okay. However, if she's focused on something, I can fix her because uh, she's not using the game skill. Sure. Oh. Okay. Okay. Clarification. Hmm. Um, a lot of the new healing skills require role playing, putting on a tourniquet, role playing, yep. putting on a bandage. If she's fighting. How do, I, do that. how do I role-play putting the bandage on her? Carefully. Because she's got to have the, the tourniquet or the bandage Very on carefully. Her. Yeah. Like, it, it's a coordinated Basically thing. It can be done. And it may be a matter of, okay, I'm working on this leg. So you've got to do this other thing. Yeah, so, short, yeah, short, 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 Essentially, yeah. <laughs> it can be done. Um, it, it, it happened in Chapter 1. It, it is not easy. It is a complicated thing to do, because normally the healer gets hit, and you go to turn the corner. Um, but it can happen. I have to get through these? Sorry. Okay. Um, if it requires a prop, you have to have the prop. So the ones that are maker that require a crafting station, you have to have that. You have to have the prop. You have to hold parts. There is a specific one. Where did it go? Okay. The speaker version of sanctifying vapors requires you to have eye contact and coordinated breathing with the person that you're dealing with. You're both oh, cool. in focus. That's tantric. So if either one of you loses eye contact or stops that breathing, you start over. That's real. Look at me, bitch. <laughs> <laughs> um, this is a good time. So, yes, triage is one that requires that. But you're role-playing the active thing. So with things like triage, you actually have to role-play putting the bandage on, putting the tourniquet on, doing what that is. If it's the one for like surveyor where you're going to be finding a wild space and figuring out, oh, we can open this up for harvesting, this does not mean like, I'm going to stand here and do this for five minutes. What are you doing? I'm focusing. No, you actually need to role play out like exploring what you're doing because it's a task. It is a specific task. It's the difference between rest, which is not a task, it's contemplating your belly button, 
and this. These are active Privacy. tasks. Okay. So, so focus, if I'm just correcting if I'm wrong. Focusing means actively role playing your intentions. Yes. Okay. So, um, like, I can't, I can't be role playing looking for croplands while I'm putting a bandage on him and saying I'm so. Okay, got it. Make them fit. Difference and, uh, between anytime, and but I could be focusing yes. on that while you're mm -hmm. healing me. Right. Okay. Working like that. Okay. I'm a healer. Mm -hmm. I have three bandages at my tier level. Yep. Okay. I'm healing you while you're fighting off the critters. Mm -hmm. I get hit, which breaks my focus. Yep. Do I lose the because do I lose the prop? Because I've only got X number no, of No, you uses. don't lose the prop. The focus restarts. The okay. cost is not yeah. spent. Okay. Um, okay. Which Good is the, it, it is a clear difference. Is if you have to expend a resource to start it, the focus changes. So you've got to go back to the time. You don't have to respend the thing. And you don't necessarily have to unbandage them and start over. It you might just, not be need... the worst thing yeah. to do. Right. I would recommend it. But as long as you're role playing for the minute or the whatever. Correct. But that's what matters. And that was what we saw in the rest too. Was that you you will not lose the result as long as you do the time. The time may get reset a yeah. couple of times Zero. even, but the result yeah. will still yes. eventually go off um, as long as you keep doing it. Yeah, there are some very key differences in, like, in, if, in rest, mm -hmm. can you move? Uh, not really, no. Not really, no. no. Okay. Not really. You can't move during But again, focus? If, go ahead. No, but again, you, you, as long as you go back and do the time after you've moved, you still get the uh, You just the have effect. to start over. You just have to start over. Um, they don't overlap. So if you have to, if you have something that requires a rest and something that requires a focus, right. whatever time you spend doing one does not count does for not the other. Count for the other right, because you're focused on the task. Right. Each has. The other thing is you have some that actually require both. Most oh. of the time it's, it requires a focus to do the thing, and there's a cooldown of a rest to refresh the ability to do it again. Oh, sure. Sure. You have to do each of them separately. You don't right. have to do them chronologically. You can do one and wait until the battle's over and then do the cooldown. Right. But you do actually have to do both. This might not be Hold a on. question we have. He had answer. a question. Oh. Well, I, I didn't shut down this question. I, I just wanted gave, to say my words first. I thought you gave up on your question. Sorry. Jason doesn't give up. <laughs> no. You figured that out already. I thought um, you gave a question. So if I'm resting or focusing, either one, mm -hmm. and... Combat is going around on around me, and people are fighting, and they're about to step on me, and I take a step for safety reasons. Am I allowed like a two-step of oh, crap? They're going to step on me, or is that violating the rest or focus? That's a good question. I feel like that falls under like safety peeping when you're when you're dying. You're supposed to. Be, or, yeah. but it's, but it's also the circumstances. Well, it's circumstantial it's, it's, safety. Uh, uh, well, again, uh, again, you, again, keeping D-bat in mind, we're yeah. not going to yeah. run across the field, but if. Right. <laughs> okay, if there is an actual safety call, like yeah. you're you are standing at the edge of a thing, and there's a live torch here, and you're doing your thing, and they're fighting out there, and they move to you, and it's a yes. safety caution fire, mm -hmm. then yes. If you're in the middle of the field doing your thing, and they're fighting around you, and they come to you, no. You should have started your rest more safe. Right. <laughs> Essentially, yes. Do not set up a crafting station or a thing in the middle of the field. I'm not going to go camping in the middle of the morning. Get it. Right. That's a perfect side. call. Um, I had a quick question about the RP. Um, this might not be an answer we have here, but is there a time where a skill calls for an RP that isn't a focus? Or is that pretty consistent? Most of it's pretty consistent. Okay. Um, there may be specific rules that don't require a focus, but I haven't seen any of those okay. yet. Um, so you have things like scavenger and armor repair, and then you also have something called cloak of shadows. The first level of it, if you're in stealth, can't focus because you're using a game skill. The second level lets you. The first oh. level does not. Um, so those are the, the base ones. Um, some of them require view cards, things like that. What I want to do is I'm going to actually have you guys try to play a game and focus on playing the game because card games and stuff are actually going to be part of chapter two. Yeah. Um, and we're going to see how this works when someone interrupts what you're doing. Right. Yeah, it could be easier. I mean, you can sit if you want to, but it's not the easy. I know. I lost a little screw okay. so to hold that leg in. Are they focused or are they resting? <laughs> 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 
Because there is nothing restful about what she's doing. Okay. Okay. Like, but there's no focus. But it's not a Sweet. Okay. Um, that works. Okay. Everybody take four and pass them. Because basically we're going to we're going to do this with the standard focus, which is a minute. Because if we do it for five, you're going to run out of time. Chris? She's video. She's just video. Thank you, Bob. Don't talk to the chronicler. Uh, yeah, look at them. Because you're going to have to know what they are. Oh, good okay. sure. No, now, I may not be using it the way that the game is. It's You're about to be a mom. You should get used to it. I know. He's, he's like, no, mom. I'm mad at that. I don't know like when you laugh. It scares me. <laughs> okay. The task you are focusing on, because our crafting system involves cards, the task you are actually focusing on is trying to get through trade, because you can talk to people. Four of one color. If you drew four of one color, I swear to God. <laughs> <laughs> Brad wins! <laughs> I, I love you just you, man. <laughs> <laughs> no. Okay. There's, there's only two colors. Oh, yeah, we got okay, let me do. Four of one color. That is a noisy thing. That's a noisy thing? Yep. You need four of a I color have... that's a noisy thing. Now, role play the fact that you're trying to find these and build this crafting thing. Collectively? Collectively. Because you can, red. in fact, work with yeah. it. You know, I've got some, uh, some got reds two, that's two up for trade. I got some yeah. loud blue. Like dark blue. Dark blue? I, 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 I like that. I can change the dark blue for light blue. Okay. Blue, gray, so I guess some reds that are yelling? Well, so I have two dark that are quiet. If I yelling is one, one, quiet might be one. Well. I don't want to do any dark opposite of quiet. That's how you justify it. I can describe this. I want light blue. Does anybody have a light blue? I do not have a red. I can't figure out how to work these right now. I just tried to have two light blue. Silence. And I can trade them like that. Wait. I just need one light blue. Does anybody need a light blue for it? Does anybody need a light blue for it? Yeah, absolutely. Here we go. I, I can't justify this one as being like, that way. Yeah, <laughs> that would be more disturbing than allowed. Yeah. This I can justify because the crowd goes wild. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Go for it. This is I need to draw. So I need a, a, I need a loud red. Does anyone have a loud red? Weapon wise, I need to describe red. This is a loud red. I can trade you a, a lovey red. Yeah, sure. Okay. I made red. one. He's got red. You're fancy, but that's not. I'm sorry. That's a hair dryer. Yeah, He's yelling. That's silent. breaking. Oh. And the crowd goes I think wild. these are loud. I mean, it's yeah. monkey. But yeah. I'm doing yeah. a thing. Could you? I, I really need to talk a to you. Chicken getting ready to get beat up by a mixer. Start right? to focus over. Vacuum. Yeah. That was totally like a loud. Ah, <laughs> coffee. Right. <laughs> I get it. You're there. <laughs> oh. <sighs> Some of it's easy, some of it's not. Tribute. This is the kid in the living room going, look what I can do, look what I can do. Dad, 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 dad. I gave mine away. I can take that. That's not loud, though. Here, I've got a new loud one for you. Oh, no, no, no. The gray, not the loud one. You're getting mixed up. No, 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 I want to. I think that was loud first. This is loud. You want? That's loud and dark blue. Can you distract them? Sure. Can you break that focus? Hey, Derek. I'm not sure what he's doing now. Do you have any dark blue? No. How would you break that focus? That could be loud. I got it right. Are those loud? Yeah. Yeah. Right. Yes. No, it's a valid okay. thing. And it can happen. Uh, we, we smell the really stinky diaper. diaper. Them is you know, remotely <laughs> <against that. laughs> Have you ever got, oh, do you know that no, stinky no, diaper on that? Uh, uh, so you have light blue and red, right? Yeah. Oh, no. I've never seen someone afraid of bugs. You have a red. I'm going to throw chicken and you scream. And they're going to start yelling. We're not playing that game. Can we trade two for one? You're literally out of the. No. Mine. Josh got the economy. Dad is like, let's trade two for one. Okay. I had two dragons in a hole. That's distracting. It is. Well, okay, guys, to, to bring this back, he's actually doing a fantastic job of breaking her focus because she has to start over. Yeah. <laughs> All right, I'm going to five. So, the question, does, it, is, does, does focus in general make sense? Yes. 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 Do you have any questions before we break? No. I know you need, do. We need to have a timer. Ooh. Um, it would not necessarily be a bad idea. In the chapter one rules for bandaging, it was actually recommended that people have a one minute hourglass wired, and their little yeah. plastic ones. I don't know how um, much they played it, but it was really it, it actually, it works and it helps a lot. The other thing that can work is if you figure out songs that last for a minute mm -hmm. or for five, 
hey, that's how we teach our kids to brush their teeth, is the right. ABCs last for so long. Mm -hmm. So figure out a song that lasts for that long and keep it in your head while you're doing the thing. The nice thing about the yeah. timer, though, is because if you're if I'm resting, yeah. I can sing a song in my head. But if I'm role playing, fixing armor, I, singing yeah. a song in my but head becomes interrupted. more difficult. But if so. I'm interrupted, I then I have to wait for the timer to go all the way down before I can turn it over. Yes, yeah, that's true. Have which one is why I tend yeah. to yeah. use the songs. And the other thing is practice yeah. it. I know it sounds silly, but like set a timer when you're yeah. driving someplace for five minutes. There Start getting to the point where you recognize what that time is. So because we're not going to, the game as a whole is not going to be a dick and go, oh, so you did it for like four minutes and 58 seconds and no. I'll do it again? No. Because you're there. This deep bad. The three minutes and 15? There's, there's one, there's one, there's yeah, go back to that. Like that. But that's what I would actually do and it's what I had to do for mine was train what that five minutes felt like. Yeah. yeah. So most people, and me included, were under the belief that counting is perfectly fine. But well, well I'm, what I'm but bringing up is because different. me counting was two minutes and thirty seconds for five right? minutes. Because yeah. I was going right. one, two, three, four, and got. And in a mod, it might be even faster because you're yeah, going. So, or whatever so, so also doing. with the adrenaline and excitement, is there going to be like stratagems and types of things posted that will give like noobs and people like me that don't carry a timer like strategies. <laughs> Or we just want us to come up with those on our own. Yeah. Like, we can bookmark oh, yeah. it and see yeah. if there's something we can do. I don't think this is a good answer. But do. If I was in your situation, I'd say, hey, Kim. Yeah, sorry. <laughs> <laughs> to someone who, is, who I knew who was on right on. Um, mm -hmm. the other, but, no, that's a good call. To, and, a, to yeah. 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 and a practical one is you know how you take your pulse? Oh, yeah. Count. Actually, because it's that pace. Because you normally do it for 15 <laughs> seconds. Yeah, come right at 58 so, seconds right, or 65. So do that, and it will actually help you figure out what that is. Cool. So. Okay. So I think we're just at about time. You Perfect time. Where you're going yep. next? Nope. Nope. But I got a husband for that. Yeah. Okay. We're all the same group. We're all.